What do we guys it's Rebel Racer here? So today is a topic video. Today's topic. Today's topic is relationships. Greaser relationships. So, we're going to start with one of the most common misconceptions and assumptions about greaser and relationships. And that one most misconception is that greasers are womanizers and they run around with different women and are a wanderer and all that. Not true. Yeah, we may go out with a lot of different girls, but you know, we're not running around doing one and then going to the next and then running off and doing another one and then going to the next and then running off and doing one and going to the next. No. If we have a girlfriend and you know things don't work out, you know, we, we break off and go our way with whoever we want to go out with next. You know, we don't go running around with 20, 30 different women. I mean, geez, we're not the wanderer for crying out loud. Another common misconception or assumption is that if you're a greaser, you gotta have a greaser rockabilly girlfriend. How true. You can have a punk girlfriend. You can have an emo girlfriend. You can have a hippie girlfriend if you want. You can have any girl you want. Just because you're a greaser does not mean that you have to have a greaser girlfriend. Now if you do have a greaser pinup girlfriend and she's all into the same things you're in then hey you're in good shape. But if you have a girlfriend that's different from your subculture it's also kinda nice too because then you get a look at how somebody else may live. And you never know, they might like rock and roll, rockabilly music too. I mean, the hippie era was, you know, still some rock and roll going on. So if your girlfriend's a hippie, then she's got some of that rock and roll in her, you know? I mean, mostly 60s uh, hippie era was psychedelic rock, but still. Another thing too um, that I think should be brought out is... Um, Is that if you have a girlfriend of a different subculture, you get a more broad spectrum of what other subcultures are out there. And that doesn't mean you have to change your subculture. It just gives you a more broad spectrum of what's out there. That way you can find something out there that maybe might resemble a little bit of your subculture, but also have its own elements. That's always good. Okay, another misconception or assumption about it is that if you're a greaser, you have to find a girl who is, you know, I guess it follows the same saying as before, is that she's got to have all your common interest. And no, she doesn't have to have all your common interest. Dude, everybody's different. Guys, girls, everybody's different. I'm different. You know? Urchin Greaser. Mad love to you, bro. It's different. Madman. Mad love to you too, bro. It's different. We're all different. We all have our talents. We all have our faults. We all have our vices. But we are all different. So if you can find a girl who holds a lot of the same common interests you do, that's good too, but it doesn't mean that she needs to be in the rock and roll and rockabilly. I mean, I mean, in, in a way it'd be nice if she is into that music because it's a good type of music, but it doesn't mean she has to be like completely dedicated to it. I mean, heck, I love the music, but I'm not like fully dedicated to just listening to that. I listen to everything else too. But, 
she, you know, if she shows some interest in that kind of music, then you're okay. But I mean, you don't need to have a girl that is the same common interest as you, like rock and roll and cars and you know, dancing. I mean, all that. I mean, all that's good. It is. But I mean, if all you just have all the same common interests, you're pretty soon running out of things to talk about. Okay. Another thing is I've heard somebody say that greaser girls are, we're, we're straying away from the misconception here, but this is actually a misconception I've heard from somebody, that greaser girls are dirty, foul mouthed, they smoke, they drink, they sleep with both sexes, they, they, you know, they, they run around, they, they party all the time. Really? Rock and roll joker. Much love to you, girl. A friend of mine, Sophie. Some girls that I know. They ain't like that. And the other thing, too, is, you know, the thing that the guy brought up was both sexes. That's nasty. It... If she wants to sleep with another woman or something, that's their business. It doesn't really concern you. Did you ever think maybe that there's a reason for that? Or, you know, same goes for a dude that might be gay. If he wants to sleep with another man, Lynn, that's their business, not yours. It's not for you to go in and tell them, that's wrong, you know, that's that's nasty, that's gross. It's not a, it's not your place, man. There's a there there may be some greaser girls out there that are like that. But not all of them are like that. In fact, most of them aren't even like that. Another uh, misconception, too, that I've seen out there is, like, you know, that... The girls that are out there, they really want that bad boy image in a boyfriend or future spouse, whatever you want to say. You know, that in itself is kind of stupid, really. The bad boy image. I'm sorry, that's high school bullshit. If you're gonna walk around, you know, with big old aviators on and, you know, F everybody and, you know, go, I'm gonna whip somebody's ass, I'm a bad boy, I'm gonna, I'm really badass, I'm gonna get out there and show these girls I'm a tough guy, I'm gonna, kid shit. High school bullshit. don't have to be like that. Now, you might be thinking, hey, Rebel, aren't creatures supposed to be tough? Yeah. Tough in our mentality, yes. We don't have to go out and be all muscled up, bomb people. No, it ain't like that. Jeez. So, girls want the bad boy. If they want a bad boy, then they'll get a bad boy. But that doesn't mean that you have to become a bad boy just to get a woman. Remember that. <clears throat> all in all, guys, these are just a few of the things that I see come up with relationship questions and, you know, conceptions and assumptions and misconceptions, whatever. These are things I've seen or heard about or even read about. If you like the girl girl likes you, and you two think you can make some sort of relationship out of it, then go for it. Because if you don't take the chance, some other guy's gonna come along and scoop her up, and you never know what he might do to her, or what he might do with her. If she likes you and you like her, go for it, guys. Don't let it pass by. I have done that a few times in my life, and let me tell you, 
It's messed me up every time. Every time. Sometimes I went for a girl that I shouldn't have went for, and it's messed me up too. That's all there is, guys. All there is. So. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some kind of, uh, you know, um, appreciation for um, maybe if you're in a relationship or getting into one that you remember these um, things I've told you. And um, I'll be posting the video pretty soon on a uh, rebellion. Of the night of the two, of 2019, comparing to the 50s, um, I think that needs to be brought up as well. I uh, also want to bring up a small other thing too. Uh, right now, while it's in my mind, um, you know. I wasn't prepared for doing this, but I want you guys to know um, that um, I'm going through a pretty rough time at this point uh, lately. Things seem to be moving pretty slow where I'm at. I mean, where I'm at is kind of barren, uh, kind of farmland. No, no, I look dressed like a farmer, but this is the clothes of a working man. And trust me, I haven't been doing a lot, a lot of work. I've been cleaning my room and all that good stuff, but I like overalls, man. Tough clothing. Um, just things have been moving pretty slow, guys. So if, you know, videos don't appear, like, constantly, no, it's not because I'm not, it's not because I'm, I'm you know, I'm getting sick of doing videos. I really ain't. It's just that I've got to watch my data. So when I do do a video and then you don't see one for a couple weeks, maybe even a month, it's data. I can still shoot a video on YouTube, but then it takes a long time to upload without data. So I'll try to get as many videos in as I can. Plus, you know... All you know, my birthday will be coming up pretty soon. I'll be turning 28 uh, next month in June, on June 8th. So, Rebel Greaser's getting older, guys. Anyways. Until then. Stay greasy cats. Stay sexy chicks. I'm Rebel Greaser.